Hey, thanks for stopping scrolling. But it's going to be a three-minute Bible study about right now as we're continuing our series on discipling. When you talk about what others say about Jesus, you can't really have enough time to quote all of them. But I thought we'd start with his pals. For three years, Jesus trained 12 disciples, and after his resurrection, he selected and trained another one in Paul. Of course, one of those 13, a guy named Judas, turned Jesus in for money, but the rest had a lot to say. Let's look at some of those quotes. In John 20, 28, Thomas exclaimed, my Lord and my God. This was doubting Thomas. He doubted no more. In Matthew 16, 16, Simon Peter answered, you're the Messiah, the son of the living God. And I'll give you a last one by Paul the Apostle. In 1 Corinthians 5, 3, I passed on to you what was most important and what has also been passed on to me. Christ died for our sins, just as the scripture said. He was buried and he was raised from the dead, just as the scripture said. But what do others, besides those in the Bible, say about Jesus? Well, for one thing, check your calendar and notice that time itself reset when Jesus came, as far as this world is concerned anyway. Most of the world tells us about when Jesus was born, when they say the year. And then a few quotes from some famous or infamous people, I guess. We recognize no sovereign but God and no king but Jesus, second president of the U.S., John Adams. No man can read the Gospels without feeling the actual presence of Jesus. His personality pulsates in every word. No myth is filled with such life. Albert Einstein said that, and he wasn't even a Christian, as you probably know. Jesus Christ is easily the most dominant figure in all history. The famous science fiction writer H.G. Wells said that. And this one, which I found surprising. I'm a Christian, and I'm a devout Christian. I believe in the redemptive death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. I believe that faith gives me a path to be cleansed of sin and have eternal life. That was said by the 44th president, Barack Obama. It's simple. These people and this person have found Jesus to be just who he says he is. When I was a teen, far away from God, he showed himself to me through the Bible, through preaching, through friends, through prayer. He showed me he's real. I know he's the only one to trust to give me eternal life. I pray you have too. And if you haven't, and you'll want to know just how to trust him, you'll find links to my email and my Google phone and the thing, you know. Click the thing and you'll find it. Contact me. I'll be happy to lead you through that. Point you towards your church. God bless you. We'll talk to you tomorrow on Day of Devotion. See you then.